the striped pants that I have on there, my mom was the one that went out uh, and bought them for myself and my two crew members. And she was kind of the first one that pushed myself, and that caused other teams to decide to start to wear common clothes that presented themselves as a, as a team rather than everybody dressing as individuals. Uh, and it, it created a whole new aspect uh, in the NHRA drag racing, in my mind. Uh, it was just a little step that my mom pushed me into, and boy, they were certainly funny striped bell-bottom pants. In 2000, we started the year out with Exide. Uh, we were having a great year, and come out in Sonoma, California, the U.S. Army came aboard, and we shook hands for me to bring out a U.S. Army car in 2000 at Indy. So in the month from running Sonoma to racing at Indy, I put together another team, hired Melanie Troxell to finish the year out driving the Exide car and put Tony in the U.S. Army car, and Tony won Indy. And in 2001, I came out with a Matco Tools funny car. And my organization went from being a one-car team, being the U.S. Army team. Exide stopped running at the end of uh, 2000. So I was back to a one-car team, but I brought out the Matco Tools funny car team uh, with Lee Beard aboard as crew chief in uh, 2001. I then got Brute, men's cologne, to come aboard. Uh, they sponsored Ron Caps in a Brute car for a number of years. Ron didn't win the world championship, came in second, great sponsor. Uh, Ed, Ed McCullough, every time that we'd start the car up on the starting line, he'd pour some Brute men's cologne in the headers and so you'd start the car and it would spray the smell all over the starting line area. Uh, and I think Ed was the one that came up with the idea, but uh, I've had some really innovative, unique characters working for me and working for me today and certainly driving for me. Uh, so I was able to get both Antron Brown and Angel to come aboard uh, to drive two, run two motorcycles for DSR. Ran it for a number of years, won a number of races, and uh, it, it was a very, very successful program. Again, what great ambassadors both Angel is today and was then. And Antron Brown is a great ambassador today, and he certainly was back then. Uh, Tony dominated when I brought Alan Johnson on board for six years. Uh, Tony won six world championships in a row with Alan Johnson on board turn tuning the U.S. Army car. Uh, that program just excelled with Alan being here, teaching us a great deal that we absorbed and continue to utilize today. In 2003, I added Gary Seldze in the Oakley car, and that program was really directed by Jim Gennard. Paul LeSage uh, brought it to me and brought me both Scotty Cannon initially, and then I added a second Oakley car with uh, Gary Selsey driving it, and Gary ended up winning the world championship. Jim accomplished what he set out his goal to do, and that was to w win the world championship and take it away from John Forrest, and Gary Selsey did that with Jim Gennard and DSR, so it, it was a great win, a great year, 
what an innovator and a mad scientist Jim Gennard currently is and certainly was at that time. The paint jobs, the designs, the unique products that he came out with. Incredible man that has taught me a lot about business and a lot about life. With the Oakley program, Mopar came aboard as really a co-sponsor and have been with me ever since those days in a stronger manner. Uh, they came where they were sponsoring a different team and that team uh, just didn't have the success that we were able to create with, uh, with Mopar with both an engine and a clutch program and their body was a great body uh, we made some changes to it and it really excels in performance today and we continue to work at making changes with it uh, and we need to take it one day at a time we need to keep our heads down working hard and performing at the very top of the sport the teams have been doing that. My whole organization has been doing that. We continue to bring in new partners with Papa John's coming aboard this year, uh, Pennzoil coming aboard last year and the year before. Uh, the program continues to get better and stronger. Uh, U.S. Army has been with me now 17 years, going on 18 come Indy this year. Uh, I'm certain we'll continue to perform at the very top of our ability. The people that I've been able to surround myself with just amaze me at how good they are and the great, great job that they do day in and day out. Not only here at the races, but supporting our sponsors around and away from the races also. It's a tremendous organization. We have about 140 employees and 150 plus thousand square foot race shop in Brownsburg. We make a lot of our own parts. In fact, the majority of our own parts from uh, heads to connecting rods to on and on and on. Uh, we have our own superchargers, injectors. We build all of our own chassis. And uh, we just continue to try to excel here in NHRA drag racing. You know, it, it's amazing the different partners that I've had out here over the years, and many of them are still current partners with me. Uh, the records that have been set from Matt Hagen being the first funny car in the threes when he ran 399 down at Charlotte to where... We're going to get a funny car in the 370s here soon, and we're going to try to excel at the very top of our game and uh, go forward from there. That's the only way that I know to race. That's the way I compete in the world. I hate losing probably more than anybody knows except for some of my close friends and family. It, it really crushes me to lose at anything. But there's so many other moments than just the winner's circle. Mm -hmm. Moments on the starting line, the moments in the pits, the thrashes, the uh, challenges that everybody has worked their way through in accomplishing these wins and even in accomplishing getting to the racetrack. It's only possible because of the people, which includes management people, hospitality people, the 20 plus people that are at the race shop that don't travel on the road with us, that make all of our parts for us and our chassis for us, uh, the chefs that uh, keep us fit. It's an amazing, amazing organization that has accomplished a great deal.